All right, what's up you guys? Um, today in this video, we're gonna be reviewing this logo from Penji. And most of you guys might be familiar with this you know, brand, but if you're not, uh, essentially what Penji does is um, one of those subscription you know, on-demand graphic design services. I mean, like they do a preflow of quite a number of things uh, that relates to graphic design. So if you're a client out there and you're interested in something that, uh, that is related to graphic design, say social media banners, and whatnot I mean like these are the guys for you and I'll put a link in the description for you guys who are interested in checking out Penji but yeah that out of the way I also want to guide and thank the guys from Penji uh, for sponsoring this video and also I want to preface that that this video won't be biased by the fact that Penji is sponsoring the video I like, will just go ahead and really uh, put our you know design creed and also like really just review the logo if it's uh, it's an amazing brand design awesome but we'll just go ahead and mention that so let's just go dive in and you know start with the, the backstory um let me let me put this coffee down because i think it's giving me hard time um so first things first i want to really go back uh, in time when the original logo was designed um so the original logo was designed back in 2017 i think late 2017 um and pretty much you can see that quite when you relate it to the current logo it quite kind of looks the same a bit um, so fast forward in 2019 they decided to rebrand that was late 2019 I suppose and I think the, the rebrand or the rebranded version is what they are still using today and you know scaling back to 2017 pretty much you can tell that this brand um, is quite a young brand so they have so much to learn I mean like we've seen logo reviews that I've had like multiples like you know 10 versions of the same logo like in the BBC if you guys have missed that you should go check out the BBC logo I'll put a link right there I mean it, it, it can tell you how often like brands get to rebrand uh, so yeah so that out of the way I want to tap into now the story um, of this you know logo right like you might assume that there is quite a heavy story to tell when you look at this logo type but most often like logo types really don't have heavy stories to tell maybe one 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 example would be the the coca-cola logo right it's just a logo type it's just like a signature that uh you might assume that maybe there needs to be a story uh but um honestly the story um when it comes to logo type it's quite quite minimal but maybe what i could tap in is the color uh you know when you you know when you just do a close observation from the before and after you can see that the before had this bright deep purple and then the after has this you know uh i, I mean i can think it's a lavender purple kind of thing right and also like when you look at the dots uh, on j and i they move from this pink to a green so looking at this new palette, like the logo they're using right now, I might urge that maybe they're trying to tap into, you know, the color psychology. Because uh, when you look at this, uh, you know, after version, what they're using right now, I think it's a bit really super welcoming. Like you can, you can look at the colors and say, okay, this is quite really calm. And when you look at the service they are in, that could maybe be the story, right? Because uh, the service they are in right now, you need to first make a commitment you pay a monthly subscription right off right off land and then they you know you start using the service so there's a you know there is a need of trust in between their service so the client has to trust them first so using this palette you could say the green taps into that uh, royalty and you know trust and also like the purple you know when you look at the psychology behind purple however much i always don't want to you know relate to psychology of colors because most times like it relates differently to different parts of the world so but but i think for me what i relate the purple is it taps into you know these you know young generations like it taps into like young people teens and you know all that kind of stuff so i think there is some story right there that uh, they're using their colors mostly uh, but when it comes to the typography i don't think like the typography has much storage offer and you know just putting it on a spectrum of like suns to serifs you can see that it sits somewhere in the middle uh, you might not be even sure whether it's a brush whether it's a display uh, whether it's i mean you know what i mean like it's quite like in the middle and i would urge and say maybe it's round of edges kind of also like signifies that you know assumption of uh, you know them you know looking calm and um 
and welcoming since their service as i mentioned like there is a need to commit from the client so moving on to the design creed i think that is the story bit uh, but before we do that i just want to go ahead and mention that if you're new on the channel if this is your first time to see my face i mean just go ahead and subscribe like on this channel talk about things to do with design in life and again my name is paul zana so let's move on to the design creed So one thing for sure, just observing the current logo, one thing I would change on this logo, and as I mentioned, like always design can never be perfect, like there is always room for improvement. Um, so I think one thing I would change on this logo type, I think I would cut off those frogs on later P, that could do something like certain. But also one thing I want to commend the designer, uh, or, you know, the guy who worked on this, uh, you know, logo type. Um, it's quite really hard to work with these two letters like J and I and on top of that like there is a N at the beginning of J and I like it's quite like complex ligature going on here you know the spaces between these two letters is always really really hard to work with and I think the beauty the way I think it tricked us is always like having these dots going on top so that like, you really don't focus on the tension going on in these, you know, in between these characters. So you focus on the top, right? I think that was smart. Like, I think that kind of, you know, gives them a credit. Um, I admire that. But also, like, I see much tension between P and these three characters. So one thing I would do, as I mentioned, like, is cut off these strokes from later P. That could do something. Um, I think for me that is my overall like you know assumption like I think if I'm to experiment with the logo that's what I would do but also like I'm really really down to hear from you guys uh, what do you think about the logo um, uh, just go ahead and let me know in the comment section and as I mentioned like if you're a client out there and you're interested in uh, really graph design services and remember like their turnaround time is 24 to 48 hours I don't know any designer who can do that, but if you client out there and that's how you want your work really fast, I think PNG is worth checking out. And I'll leave a link in the description. Um, that out of the way, I just go ahead and mention, like if you guys are non-subscribed, you can just go ahead and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that like button and share this video with your friend. And if you're interested in checking out, you know, my work on Instagram, you can just go follow me at WXYZANA. And again, like you guys, you know, you know the drill, man. You can buy me a cup of coffee if that is something that won't hurt you. But if it will hurt you, like, just forget it. Don't, don't bother. Uh, but if, if, I mean, a cup of coffee doesn't hurt, you, you can buy me one, guys. I mean, like, if, if you really want to be featured in my next video, I'm just going to be mentioning everyone who buys me a cup of coffee. I think that will get you guys excited. But yeah, that's it. I'll catch you in the next one. Um, cheers, love you. All right, um, since the camera is off, let me enjoy this cup of coffee. Ah, man, shooting YouTube video is not, is not easy. I don't know why these guys don't buy me coffee. I don't know why. It's just it. I mean, like, it's coffee, guys. It's just a cup of coffee. Five bucks, I mean three bucks, whatever. Um, but I think I should do a rant about it like in my next video. Yeah, I'm gonna rant about it. The only thing I hear, oh man, I was trying to buy a cup of coffee, but the link doesn't work. Really? Come on, guys. I mean, the link is supposed to work, right? Like, every time I test it, it works. Maybe that is the best way of saying I was interested in buying a cup of coffee, but then my credit card declined. Maybe that's what they mean, that the, the link didn't work, right? Like, yeah, yeah, it could be that. But man, like, we're all grinding. So if someone doesn't have money, right? I mean, it's cool. It's cool.